Okay, welcome back. So now we're going to do an example, and this is about maximizing the area of a garden. So here's the setup. It says a rectangular garden is to be constructed using a, a rock wall as one of uh, as one side of the garden and wire fencing for the other three sides. Um, we're given a hundred linear feet of wire fencing. Determine the dimensions that would create a garden of maximum area. What is the maximum area? So here we go. So now, and sometimes it's good to draw a picture. So we've got this rock wall. Let's say this rock wall here, and you want to create a garden. And so we've got three sides of fencing, right? And so you want to maximize um, the area, right? So what's the goal? We want to maximize the area. We only have 100 feet of linear fencing, right? So fencing, we have 100 feet, okay? So we've got to make sure that uh, we use the 100 feet, okay? That's all we have. Let's say it now, um, well, how are we going to do this? Well, we've got to come up with a formula that um, involves area, right? So, well, what's the area of a rectangle? Well, if we talk about area of a rectangle, the area of a rectangle is the... the uh, width times length, right? Uh, but let's call this let's call this x and y. Okay. It doesn't matter. Well, you could use you could use um, uh, length and width if you want. Okay. So now area is equal to x times y. Okay. Um, now. We also have to get it in terms of one variable, okay? Now, what other information are we given? Hold on, let me see here. Okay, good. Okay, so now, here's the thing. We also got another equation that, was, that we can use related to the amount of fencing that we have, okay? So the other equation, because we, we gotta have this area equation in terms of once, we need another equation that relates x and y. And so what we can say is that if we, add up these three sides, right? If we add up those three sides, it has to equal 100 feet, okay? So we can say that 2y plus x equals 100, okay? And then we can solve for x, and so x equals 100 minus 2y, and now we can substitute in for x. And so what we get is A is equal to 100 minus 2Y times Y, which is then equal to what? It's going to be 100Y minus 2Y squared. Okay? And so we can rewrite this as negative 2Y squared plus 100y, right? So now we have a polynomial here. Or, uh, so a quadratic polynomial. So again, you should already know that this is going to be a parabola, right? So I already know that this is going to be a parabola that opens downward. And so guess what? There's going to be an absolute um, maximum to this, right? 
Okay? Now, again, we, we can use algebra to find the maximum value. Okay? But we're not going to use algebra. We're going to use calculus. Okay? Because we know that this is continuous everywhere. But, in the context of the problem, though, we're, we have some restrictions. Right? And so, the restriction is on the fencing. Right? We only have so much fencing that we can use. Um, so now, here is the thing. Since x is equal to this, right, because we're based on this, <clears throat> if, if y is, um, or excuse me, if x is greater than 0, Right? So if x is 0, y equals 50. Okay? So if x is greater than 0, y is going to be less than 50. So if x is greater than 0, y has to be less than 50. If x is equal to 0, right, y would equal 50. Well, wouldn't, that wouldn't give us a rectangle. Okay. <clears throat> and the longest that X can be is 100. So we're going to be restricted, right? So it's going to be over the uh, x. So the, to determine the maximum value of the area for, for y, uh, we'd have to consider the open interval uh, 0 to 50. But since we know that a continuous <clears throat> curve has an absolute maximum over a closed interval, let's consider the closed interval from 0 to 50. Okay. And so if we consider the closed interval from 0 to 50, then what we can do is we can take the, uh, the derivative with respect to y, right? And what do we get? We get negative 4y plus 100. And we set that equal to what? This, remember, this is the derivative, which tells us when uh, the slope of the tangent line. And we want to know when the slope of the tangent line is zero, because that's where the maximum will occur at. So we set this equal to zero, and we get y is equal to 25. So when y is equal to 25 feet, that's when we're going to get maximum area, which means x is equal to what? Well, we go back to this. So x would have to be 50 feet. And so there are <coughs> the dimensions.
And so now we can find the second answer, which is what is the maximum area? Well, the maximum area of the garden is equal to um, these multiplied, which is 1250. 1250 square feet. So that's going to be the maximum area. And that's it. Next, what we're going to do is uh, in the next video, I'm going to go through the problem solving steps for handling optimization problems like this one. Okay, so see you next time.